What's up guys, Chris VA Travels. Still out here in Southwest Virginia, middle of nowhere, in Bastion, Virginia. And I'm going to visit the Wolf Creek Indian Village and Museum. And yeah, they've got a little museum inside, village out back. And yeah, check this place out. Here it is, Wolf Creek Village, and just walked about a quarter mile to get back here. I, I just actually took the tour. Uh, the, the guide left. She said I could uh, walk around and let you know if tickets are uh, fifteen dollars. So, and this is all, of course, a reconstruction. And there are about thirteen or fourteen of these uh, burial sites. Uh, they found skeletons uh, in a fetal position. And they would have a large rock on top of them just for uh, to prevent animals from from digging in. And this would be an adult, aged male, uh, two year old. And it looks like another uh, yeah child right there. So, oh, this whole area was uh, surrounded by palisade. About 219 approximately of these posts were found. And. <clears throat> The original Wolf Creek uh, was found on top of the Wolf Creek River, just over the bank there. And what happened was when they were putting this Interstate 77 back on the other side of the little patch of woods right there, game warden got them to hold off on the development. An archaeologist came out and he had 30 days to dig. So he did the site right there, kind of mapped it out. Then they ended up rewriting the creek. And then they uh, built the uh, recreated village over here is what happened. And, and the first skeletons were actually found in the 1930s by the, the farmer who owned this land. He first found a skeleton. So, and over here is the big main community building. Uh, we're in December, of course, everything's dead, but this is wild grape fox. So all this grape vine surrounding it. All right, so adult age male, 30, to 40 years old and one of these ladies was kind of like a princess uh, she was covered with in a cape of shells shells are uh, these seashells coming from the Atlantic Ocean that they uh, must have acquired through trade so adolescent male yeah they're con uh, conch shells out here so yeah Wolf Creek back there oh fire pit down here and like I say this is kind of a kind of a community I guess uh, area they would gather and uh, just kind of discuss their hunts and uh, whatever, whatever else was going on a little drum right there pottery and some hides and there are about seven to a hundred villagers lived in this village and they don't know what Indian tribe lived here. There are no written records. So. And over here, you've got a couple kind of makeshift beds on, on top of these firs. Shells over there, some gourds back there. And of course, all these have a fire pit right in the middle. And I don't know if I said, but this uh, village, they, uh, it existed between 480 and 520. So, yeah, pre European arrival. Oh, yeah, I already looked at these. Uh, dandelions would normally be right there. Dream catcher over here. Ooh. A turtle shell over here. Yeah, like I say, there's some seashells going on over here. And uh, yeah, over here, just kind of grinding some clay into dust and make their pottery. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's kind of a kind of a storage pit down there. It's another okay, yeah, another burial site. Young adult female, and they kind of have a, a waddled and daub, I guess, kind of sort of set up uh, surrounding the uh, surrounding the village. And they're not not sure why it disbanded. They're thinking maybe just crops weren't growing. This wasn't a just basically just kind of it wasn't a good area to live, maybe. And I'm walking this one. I don't know if you can go in this one. Yeah, these things are all scattered all around. And they found a couple that were buried outside of the village, and they don't know why. I don't know if you can go in this one. Maybe you can't. Mm, yeah, there's a lock right there. And this right here is uh, kind of to represent what it uh, what it might have looked like. They were kind of more tightly woven uh, sticks in the uh, Boy Scouts. Just this little project created that hut. Yeah, more of these uh, grape vines, and might have came from the uh, swamp. Kind of walked over a swamp to get here. And yeah, it looks like corn husks made that little basket. Turkey right there. There's a lot of turkey around here. And this is like I say, pre-European, so you didn't have horses or cattle yet. Another adult female. Seems like a lot of females. And I'm guessing those are kind of just more important people that they found because there was a pit of uh, a lot of bodies they, uh, they found also. Vertebrae or something, kind of large. A rattlesnake skin, looks like. Yeah, so a larger turtle shell uh, right here. The lady had told me they use these as kind of a calendar. <laughs> Each one of these plates, I guess, represents, a, I don't know, a month or a season or whatever they used back then. Some sort of honeycomb, they would just straight eat that. Gourds right there. Uh, there were some just berries in there. She poured those out and just to show me what they smell like, I guess. And yeah, more of these uh, little shells. There's some turkey feet right there. Uh, yeah, I saw those when I came in. Big fire pit right there. Look over here. Oh, and over here to uh, start a fire. I don't want to touch any of the stuff, but obviously you put the stick in the hole and you... Uh, spinach create friction and this is a more modern Euro European little kind of contraption where you move this up and down it would spin the stick and you could uh, create a, a fire more easily it's kind of a fancy uh, kind of dress or uh, some clothing kind of a duplex going on over here Uh, but yeah, a bunch of arrowheads over here. And uh, shoot, I can't remember the name of that right there, but that might be the same stuff the Aztecs used for their weaponry, but it's extremely sharp. Um, can't think of the name of the material right now. Looks like they did some tanning over here. See all these furs. Yeah, and the way they would tan, they would use these kind of sharpened instruments. Scrape off, of course, the fur. You get down to the skin, and you would actually use the animal's brain, <laughs> smear it on the skin to help uh, stretching it, stretch it. Because uh, uh, if not, if it's dried, it's all going to be hard, stiff, and crumpled up. So that's how they did it. Looks like that'll keep you a little bit warm. Box right there. Uh, 
Oh, in the top of these things, there used to be these giant chestnut trees, American chestnuts in the area. They no longer exist. Something about disease or something kind of like killed them off. But uh, they, yeah, they were huge. Um, and that's what they use for the, for the roofing. So. All right, before I walk back up and take a look at the museum, I'm just gonna walk over by the creek. Oh, and she had told me that the original village, kind of the entrance, where uh, kind of between where these two sticks were, that's where you walk into the original entrance. And yeah, it was on top of the Wolf Creek and they had moved this Wolf, Wolf Creek, as I said earlier, to make room for the Interstate 77. So let's walk over here. Yellow poplar tree. Sycamore right there. Tiny rapids down there. All right, I'm gonna walk back up, walk through the museum. And this is the map that archaeologists made in, the, in 1970, I believe it was. Model over here, there's the little villagers in there. All right, Virginia black bear. Museum back here. Another model over here. This one's a little bit more detailed. It looks like they did the farming outside the village. And you can see the uh, kind of filled in palisades there. Bunch of arrowheads. And yeah, they had just 30 days to do the excavating. So there's probably still a lot out there underneath that creek. The Northern Indian Eskimos over here, Eskimo woman up in the Alaska Territory. Whaling crew. And yeah, that's gotta be a harsh life. Okay, yeah, down here is the uh, obsidian. That's the glass-like rock I was uh, trying to think of earlier. Some bone needles over here. A pipe over there. And the Northwest. And these are the guys that had the totem poles, yeah. And this is a Bella Coola girl in a party dress. <laughs> and they're having a fun time. Gorets. And this is a bird effigy pipe. Pretty cool. And a shell wore it. Southwest. Pueblos. Pueblo huts up there. On a Hopi reservation. And yes, yeah, more of the cave dwellings over here. This lady here is making a basket. These guys have got their guns. And she's got the Princess Leia hairstyle going on. Yeah, there's so many sub tribes, subgroups. Uh, too hard to keep track of it all. But on um, Aztec calendar over here, going down into Mexico. And these things, Kachina dolls. Uh, Kachina dolls are attributed to the Hopi. 
kan ni. Uh, just a bunch of tools and more arrowheads. Uh, some bowls down there for grinding. Giant gorns. All right, so yeah, these are kind of the, the Plains Indians, the traditional Indians most people think of when they think of Native American. A million arrowheads. And yeah, of course, the guys with the teepees, the nomadic Indians up there on their horses. Bark wigwam. And yeah, these guys are pretty good fighters. Arrows right there. Another turkey, uh, turkey fan. Turkey claw here with its nails painted. Uh, the woodland Indians, okay, so we're getting into the southeast here. And uh, yeah, the Cherokee, they were the only Indian. These were kind of the, uh, the civilized tribes that would call them the Chickasaw, the Cherokee, the Creek, and so on. Choctaw. Oh, rattle right there. Timber rattlesnake. And this is a birch bark canoe. Okay, yeah, Virginia, here we go. Yeah, the famous John Smith map right there. These are the Virginia Indian tribes. Christopher Newport. Uh, and these are the paintings by the John White. He was on that settlement down at the, uh, the Lost Colony of Roanoke. He painted these, 1585. And, uh, yeah, Algonquin Indians right there. Pocahontas, John Rolfe. Yeah, the whole big Palatine Confederation. Okay. Headwear and feathers. That's a pretty crazy looking mask. Donated by Lone Eagle. Feather headdress. Um, some more fancy items over here. Some horns over here, another fancy pipe, a necklace. I guess these antlers, I don't know if you put them on your head. <laughs> uh, axe, a little hatchet. All right, uh, another black bear over here. And this is Strength of the Maker, bronze sculpture by artist Denny Haskew. Did a pretty good job, kind of bending his bow there, I guess, looks like. Um, yeah, okay, fish nets over here, or fish baskets, I guess. Trap the fish, go in, but can't come out. And these are fancy. A couple Indian dresses, this one's got a cross on it, so this is more modern. And I don't know how you get that color uh, blue and green back then. Pretty fancy. Huh. Jingle dress, it says. And a woman's ribbon dress. Is that Native American or is that, yeah. Obviously this is made of cowhide. Little dress shoes down there. Pipe on loan. They were tea party cups, it says. Some gourds down here. Oh, yeah, shows uh, slowly push west. Mm. Yeah, some fossils. Turtle shell, kind of face mask there. All right, yeah, some baskets. Okay, the three sisters, beans, corn, squash. Yeah, they ate each other in growing. They're always planted together. Yeah, bazillion arrowheads. Pretty fancy. Oh, that is not an arrow, it's some sort of 
Oh, that is. All right, Bland County. Oh, historical homes. <laughs> you find out what these are. Mechanicsburg. All right, guys, that's it for the Wolf Creek Indian Village. As always, like and subscribe. See ya.